everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. We've got Booker. Duran is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Gordon. And it's Allen in at the shooting guard position. And for the Wizards. In the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. In at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. And it's Gafford in its center. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. And here's Avdia. Stolen by Gordon. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Over Avdia. Avdia with the rebound. Kuzma against KD. Kuzma can't get it to go. And KD's got the ball here for the Suns. Booker with it. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. And Doris, what would you say has to happen for the Wizards to take that next step? I think one of the things that's absolutely key to an organization's success is being able to make the right selections with their draft picks. It's not easy. It's not an exact science, but it's been problematic for this organization in the past. That has got to change. Now, here's Nurkic. Misses in close. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Avdia with it, defended by Gordon. Avdia can't hit. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Here's Booker. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And there it is. After four straight misses, finally nail one. Jones kicks to Gafford. The basket pool. Lays it up and banks it in. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now here's Booker. Gordon for three. It's rebounded by Poole. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Booker looking around. Going inside. Durant with a wide-open look. Had the space there, but it's offline. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Now, here's Kuzma. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. Washington making some changes. Muscala, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. And Corey Kispert subbed in for Avdia. And for the Suns, Eubanks, he's checked in for Nurkic. And Akogi subbed in for Eric Gordon. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Poole, the pass to Kuzma. Shot clock at five. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. He's got a lean frame, but Kyle Kuzma proving he's unafraid of a little bit of contact inside. 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Nobody near Allen. And again, it's the Suns missing. Washington leading now by four. Pass to Poole. Pass to Kuzma. Booker against Jones. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. The shot and game clock separated by four. The drive by Booker over Jones. And he can't bank that one in. Here's Kuzma. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I love Kyle Kuzma not settling for jumpers. We know he can shoot it, but that's a nice job drawing contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. What I love about Kyle Kuzma is this guy understands there's more to the game than just scoring. That's a change from his rookie season. Now he wants to contribute defensively, and he gets on the glass, guys. So he picks up just one from the line that time. To the middle. Here's Eubanks. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, Josh Kogi sees somebody working in space and puts the ball on time and on target. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Wizards lead by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. Suns trail by five. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal. It's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. So with Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. They've got Yusuf Nurkic, little out there with Booker, and it's Bates Diop in at the four slot. Here's Shamit. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. It's stolen by Little. Pass to Booker. The Trey. Golinari with the rebound. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. It's stolen by Little. And they're pushing it up. And it's Little finishing it off. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Gafford misses. Suns trail by three. The pass to Booker. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Lock at six. Bates Diop, the pass to a Kogi. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And extensive ball movement, Doris, is a beautiful style to watch. But not every good team plays that way. Why not? I think so much of implementation of style is about the players you have. What are the strengths of your individual players? Does the point guard flourish in a pick and roll situation as opposed to ball movement? Does a point guard like Luka Doncic need the ball to be effective? It's all about who your personnel is. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, once upon a time, Kevin Durant said he was tired of being second. Now, some thought he was chasing clout, but he clarified it, saying, I just lost in the finals. Time out, time it wasn't out. about I want to be the best ever. I don't care about Sorry. that. I want to wake up every day and do what I do. If we win, I know that comes with me being the best that I can be. Kevin? David, I love the fact he is focused on the process. And thank you for giving us that report. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. This game against Phoenix here, it's the first look at the Suns.
And Washington going with a whole new group here. Some changes for Phoenix. See the stat sheet here for Devin Booker. One thirty left to play here in the second quarter. Avdia kicks to Muscala. Here's Poole. Phoenix grabs the miss. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, that was a rough outing. Uh, they, they did a few good things, but the inconsistencies caught up to them in that one. To be perfectly frank with you, I'm surprised it was as close as it was. I thought they were outclassed all night. Muscala misses. The Suns leading. 52 seconds left in the second quarter. This is it to Eubanks. This is to Gordon. Five to shoot. No good there. Good defense by Poole. So for Washington, their last game a loss to the Magic. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. To the inside. Here's KD. Avdia with the rebound. Avdia's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Kuzma. And he gets the bucket. Kuzma's got five points so far. You can see that Kyle Kuzma has the kind of size and length and creativity to score on the interior. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Wizards out front, up by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Frank Vogel. Coach, your team is down at the half. What has to change? Well, it's still early in the game, okay? We're a little bit out of sync offensively. We just got to get into a rhythm. Good passes lead to good offense. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. This is what the home fan loves to see. This squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individuals stand out, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Phoenix? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted, playing an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. And it's the Suns with the ball. It's a one-point game. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Sliding in at the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. Underneath, we'll see Kuzma and Gafford. And it's Jones in at the one spot. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Six feet out. Avdia can't hit. 
So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. And the shot is good. And the Wizards lead by one. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Walker finds Gordon. Down low. Here's Nurkic. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's one of the things Nurkic does so well. Absorb contact and still be in control. The Sun shooting their first free throw of the game. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. No shot. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. Here's Kuzma. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And now, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Washington Wizards. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Friday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And if I'm this team, I'm looking at this as a barometer to see how we stack up against some of the top teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best but if they come out of this with some success, I think it'll build momentum for the rest of the run. And he knocks down the first one. Corey Kispert's checked in for Washington. And a change for the Suns. Akogi's checked in for Grayson Allen. He hits both from the strike. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Booker against Jones. Booker dishes to Gordon. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. After seven years with Houston, Eric Gordon traded away during the 2023 season. Well, Kev, when you look back at that Houston time period, only James Harden made more threes in that particular uniform. Gordon was one of the keys on those 50-60 win teams. Eric will always have a place in Rockets' lore. Two. And the first one drops. Wizards making a switch here. Gallinari's checked in. All free throws good from Eric Gordon. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Trailing by two. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Pass to Koulibaly. Six on the shot clock. The high post shot. And it's Durant with the rebound. Pass to Okogi. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from Gallinari. To the paint. Here's Koulibaly. It's hauled in by the Suns. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Wow, the elevation, the creativity. Highlight reel finish by Devin Booker. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. 
Here's Jones. Got it. Good job in the low post. Jones has got six. And you, how about the burst in that first step? Just right to the rim. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? Oh, I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. There's a minute left in the third. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Nurkic can't hit. Wizards trail by four. The dish to Jones. Pass to Koulibaly. A three-pointer off the mark. Suns have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. KD passes to Booker. Back to KD. Some solid defense from Gallinari. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. He kicks to Jones. From deep three-point territory. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Suns lead by four. We'll be back shortly, live from Washington. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. So with Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Allen is out there with Devin Booker. Then there's Drew Eubanks, and it's Bates Diop in at the four. There's Muscala. No good on the triple. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Now here's Booker. He's covered by Shamit. Booker's shot is good. Booker's got the lead up to six now for Phoenix. Great balance there by Devin Booker. Works right through the contact and concentrates and puts it in. Near the three-point line, it's Poole. And again, Washington, no good. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Allen. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. And the Suns lead by eight. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. There's the pass to Abdiya. Back to Shamit. Feeds to Abdiya. It's hauled in by the Suns. Watson Abbey's got four rebounds in this game. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. Jones checked in for Landry Shamit. Nasir Little, he's checked in for Phoenix. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Poole, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
That one misses. Phoenix leading by seven. Inside, and they're on the break. And it's Little finishing it off. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Yep, that one goes in there. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Jones against Booker. There's 154 left to play in the final quarter. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Over in the corner, Poole. Phoenix grabs the miss. Now here's Booker. Passes it to Watsonabe. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Here's Kuzma. That one's not going to go. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Nice screen. And there's it's the green. call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Wizards making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. And then for Phoenix, Norkic checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for Watanabe. And Gordon subbed in for a little. Here's Booker. And the rejection by Gafford. This has reached desperation time for him. I'll tell you, you need absolute perfection on every possession. That's what it's going to take here. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Thirty-four seconds left in the fourth, and so they choose to intentionally foul. the first and that increases their lead to six. Booker not the guy you want to foul gentlemen. This guy is one of the best from the strike there is in the game. And so both free throws are good and it's a seven point game. Well we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 32 seconds left in the game. Let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's 
just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Phoenix with the ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Disappointing day for them. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. So both teams making some changes here. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. The three from Poole. And it's Durant with the rebound. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Kevin Durant is going to be remembered most for his prowess as a scorer. But, folks, we're talking about one of the most complete, passionate basketball players in the history of the game. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Now, Avdia, no good. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Older, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.